everybody how you doing this is Eric from the Universal Power Hour uh, today I just wanted to make a little short video um, just to keep you guys updated and also because I don't know if you remember but uh, on my first video I was telling you guys a little bit about uh, what I was going through and and you know I, I was just seeing you know if you guys just wanted to go on a journey with me because um, you know as I was saying in my first video that um, I had hit rock bottom and uh, I didn't really explain what rock bottom was for me but um, I had just let you guys know that I had hit rock bottom and um that wasn't really easy for me to do, uh, you know, because we all have pride and we all have ego. But uh, I just decided that maybe in, you know, me sharing my story and maybe taking you guys on a journey with me, those who would like to go, um, you know, maybe this could actually help somebody, encourage somebody. I don't know, but... um. I just decided to, you know, pick the camera up and, you know, and and do it. So, uh, anyway, uh, today, uh, I just wanted to speak to you guys a little bit about pain and pleasure and uh, depression and anxiety. Um, so, um, for the majority of my life, even as a kid, I have silently suffered with depression and anxiety uh, nobody ever really knew it because uh, my coping mechanism was to laugh and play and act silly and just you know hide it you know because nobody wants to be thought of as you know uh, a mental defective person you know, and uh, when you think of uh, someone who has depression or anxiety, you know, you know a mental illness, <laughs> so to speak, you know, you, you know, uh, you kind of feel bad about yourself, you know, and nobody really wants to admit, oh, hey, I'm depressed. So uh, when people ask you, hey, um, you OK, you say, oh, oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. But yeah, but, you know, actually, to tell the truth about it. I was never fine. Those who suffer with depression, who use that term, oh, I'm fine, I'll be all right. No, you're not all right, and you're not fine. Uh, the truth of the matter is, is that depression, uh, you never know where it starts from, its origins. And uh, when you get it, or when you realize that you are depressed, the only thing that you feel is, man, I really want to get rid of this feeling. Why do I feel this way? I want to be normal like everybody else. Why do I feel this way? Well, for those of you out there who are depressed and do have anxiety, I want to tell you that 90% of the population from time to time, they get sad, they get depressed, they may not stay in that state, but these are uh, emotional states that we get in from time to time, and uh, I just want to speak a little bit about, about happiness also, you know, the term happiness has been used a lot, a whole lot, and basically, you know, uh, to be happy, it comes with terms. You know, happiness is, uh, okay, uh, I won a game. Okay, or uh, I won $50 from the lottery. Hey, I'm happy. Oh, I lost a game. I lost $50 from the lottery. Oh, I'm not happy. Happiness comes with conditions. There are conditions 
on happiness. So those of you out there, and this is what I found out. I found out that those of you out there who are seeking to be happy, your life is going to be up and down just like a roller coaster because happiness always comes with conditions. Now, on the other hand, when you seek true contentment and true joy, you know, that's something that can be sustainable. Because even though you may be in a state where you don't feel happy, once you show gratitude for what is going right in your life or what you do have, then you can kind of conjure up a state of contentment and know that this period of sadness is just temporary. Now, depression, on the other hand, this is a this is a mental state that stays around. It stays around and it stays around. And it kind of gives you a hug like like it's your best friend and that you know it will never leave you. And you get used to feeling depressed. You get used to feeling down. But I'm here to tell you from somebody who has suffered with it all his life. I do believe that there is a, a cure for it. And I do believe that it gets better. But that being said, I think that we have to, we who are depressed, we have to put the work in and make a conscious choice To say, I have two choices when I wake up. Either I'm going to have the best day of my life or either I'm going to have the worst day of my life. Which choice will you make? Because if you do choose to have the best day of your life and go forward, and no matter what you feel, no matter what thoughts come into play, If you make a choice just to put a smile on or just to do something to help somebody else, this will put you in a state of joy. But you have to be consistent about this. You have to be consistent and you have to be determined that I'm not going to let this state of depression claim my life today. I'm not going to let this state of depression claim my life today. So I'm making a choice to have the best day of my life today. Whatever I have to do, take a walk in nature, um, uh, call your best friend, maybe... If you're feeling depressed, I don't know, go out with your best friend, go get some ice cream, just go do something that's going to give you a little joy. Do something for you that's going to give you a, a little joy and bring you contentment. And then at the end of the day, have gratitude, be grateful that you were able to sustain that state. And you fought off depression yet another day. And depression did not claim your life today. So, uh, basically, my thoughts are, life comes down to basically two things, pain and pleasure. So there's pain on one end of the spectrum, then there's pleasure on the other end. Now, in between these two spectrums is a portal that you go through. Many people are in pain. They start to go to the, through the portal. At the beginning of the portal is a lot of pain. Most people start to go through the portal 
and they figure out, wow, this is really, really painful. I really, really, really don't want to don't want to feel this way. I don't want to feel this way. So we grab for things that make us feel better, that take the pain away temporarily. But just to realize that the pain is still there and that we have to keep doing it to stave the pain off. But those of us who choose to somehow find the mindset to go through that pain and keep going through that portal keep finding ways to be grateful for the pain instead of asking God to take the pain away you ask him to give you the courage, give you the strength to endure the pain because you know that something greater is on the other side and that is ultimate pleasure. And for those of you who will never ever see ultimate pleasure, I won't cast you down. I won't talk about you. I do not judge you because I know that this is a harsh, cruel world that we live in. But it can also be a very great world that we live in. And I know that there are some who do make it through that portal and they do stand on the other side with ultimate pleasure. And for those that do go through that, that have the courage and the strength to go through it, I take my hat off to you because somehow you found a way. And because you found a way, I do believe that it's your duty to reach back to those who haven't made it through the portal yet. To those who are still living within that pain and pull them through that portal. Be it YouTube videos, be it, be it encouragement, whatever, letting them know that you were there at one time too and that you came out of it and they can too, however you do it. Because we are one race. We are the human race. And everybody who you see is just an extension of yourself. Because we all come from one source. We all come from one source. So basically, I just wanted just to make this video just to let you guys know, yes. I have been depressed for the majority of my life and those of you who have come up in sh in a very strict religious background very strict religious background where you had to hide and feel shame and feel guilt like I had to you probably experienced some form of depression yourself But I'm here to tell you that once you recognize where this shame and guilt and where all these other ugly feelings stem from, then you can look yourself in the mirror and say, hey, I'm not perfect. And you know what? I don't have to be. All I have to do is continue on this journey. And never let anybody shame me or make me feel guilt for something that they think I should be or a way that they think I should live my life. Because we are the masters of our own destiny. But if we stay trapped within someone else's views of who we should be or the way we should live our lives we will never be the masters of our destiny we give those people all the power and we will never reclaim our power as long as we stay in that state of shame and guilt which ultimately leads to depression major depression hopelessness 
helplessness. So I'm just telling all of you out there who are watching this right now, I've been there. And in some shape or form, you know, I, I, I struggle with it every day. You know, I use different methods, self-talk, uh, uh, you know, I take a lot of walks, you know. I mean, I watch other YouTube videos, you know. I research depression. I research guilt and shame. So I can know the origins of it. So I can start to heal myself from within. I'm not really proud to sit here and say, yes, I've, I've suffered with, with depression my whole life. This is my first time even admitting this. And I don't even know why I'm sitting here admitting this. I don't even know how I have the courage to sit here and tell you guys. But yes, I have suffered with it. And if I can help someone else, just by letting you know what I've been through and what I'm going through. Every day I wake up, I have to make a conscious choice. Is this going to be the greatest day of my life or the worst day? And in that choice, if I make the choice that it's going to be the best day of my life, then I hold myself accountable for going forth through that whole day, staying consistent. Every negative thought that comes in my head, I have to replace it with a positive thought. Oh, it takes work. It is challenging. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. It does take work. The most work that you ever have to do in your life will be on yourself. Not going to a job, but no, working on yourself, reprogramming your mind. They want you to think that you're not great. They want you to think that that, that you are, uh, you know, somehow beneath everybody else. That this other person's life is is so great and yours isn't great. They want you to look at something and compare yourself to it, as opposed to where you stand at now. I'm trying to tell you, it's all a trap. It's all a trap to keep you in a depressed state to keep you down to keep you always down so that you will never stand up and reclaim your life and know who you truly are how great you truly are and the power that you truly possess listen this is my journey and it's an everyday walk to conquer this thing called depression, to conquer this thing called defeat, to conquer this thing called shame, to conquer this thing called guilt. But it takes work. And that's why I'm here. On this video today, letting you guys know, yes, putting it all out there on the table. Hopefully, you guys can share your thoughts with me. And hopefully, you can continue on this journey with me as I climb up from the bottom. And as I rise, we all rise. I'm going to leave you with this. Where there's no enemy on the inside, then the enemy on the outside cannot harm you. Chase the enemy out on the inside, and you will reclaim your life. And then you can be start, and then you can start to live.
in heaven on earth. Hey, this is Eric from the Universal Power Hour, and I hope this reached someone today.